Speaking of that, kids picking out their first day of school outfit for the largest school district in Missouri today. Yeah, Reagan Detrolio now live at Jarrett Middle School in Springfield, where many of the kids have to walk to school. Reagan, good morning. Good morning, Chad and Jackie. Yes, there's some kids that have to walk to and from school every single day. So I spoke with school leaders on how to protect these kids who might not have another choice but to walk. Alone and why they're going alone. You know, I mean, we live in a society where un we're at the time and place in our lives where both parents have to work. Jim Farrell is the Springfield Public Schools Chief of Police. He asked parents to prepare their kids if something happens to them while on that walk home. Using your voice and yelling when you need to, uh, being loud, uh, you know, the kids, when, if they need help, scream, uh, fight. Don't, 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 go, don't go quietly. Uh, I mean, you know, if somebody's trying to harm you, don't, don't do it quietly. And the Springfield Police Department asked parents to not have their kids walk alone unless they absolutely need to. The buddy system is always a great thing to use, uh, especially for the younger kiddos. See if you have a neighbor who also has a kiddo walk into school. Go in pairs. And Chief Farrell advises parents to put a protective item on their kids as long as it's allowed on school premises. I think anything that will help draw attention to what is potentially a bad situation is a good thing. Whether it's the child yelling or blowing a whistle, I, I think a whistle is relatively, uh, you know, it, it's a good idea. And with all the craziness that comes with the first day back at school, remember to watch school parking lots for students. Just same as the kids. Parents, drivers, pay attention to your surroundings. Now remember, there is going to be over 100 buses out on the roads today, so drivers be extra careful with those students entering and exiting those bus stops. But for now, live in Springfield, I'm Reagan Atrolio, KY3 News.